Hey, it's Yay for Yarn, and today I'm going to show you how to knit a lemon on your Addy Pro knitting machine. So let's get started. So here I have already prepared this project. This is very simple to make and very quick. All I have here is a ball made on the Addy Pro. Um, if you want to learn how to make that, you can go and watch my how to make balls on your Addy knitting machine video. And all I've done here is it's basically a tube, 18 rows long with both ends cinched shut and I have it stuffed. And I used yarn scraps for the stuffing and I've only so far covered it with one layer of knitting because this is going to be our second layer. So this is another tube on the Addy Pro and it is 22 rows long and I haven't done anything to it yet. I've just taken it off the machine and now I'm going to show you how to turn this tube and this ball into a lemon. So first what I'm going to do is take one end of the tube, whichever one you want to use first, cinch it shut like so. I'm going to put the end of that yarn on my yarn needle and I'm going to tie a knot to secure so now that the end of my tube is cinched shut and secured, I'm going to bring my needle down about a half an inch from the center here. And we're going to make the little um, narrow parts at the end of the lemon. So what I'm going to do here is I've come out in the middle of a stitch right here. I'm going to go under. I'm going to try to make sure to stay in the same row all the way around. And I'm actually going to just move up a little bit. There we go. That looks about right. I'm going to go over one stitch in the row, under the next, over the next, under the next, over the next, under the next. And we're basically doing a running stitch all the way around and staying within that same row of knitting that we started in. Until we get back to the beginning of that row, which is right here. So now we're just going to pull very tightly on that seam we just made. And as you can see, that kind of um, squeezes the end of that cinched section shut like that and that makes the little knobby part on the end of the lemon. So now I'm going to pick up a little bit of yarn, pull on my yarn real tight and make a knot and bring the tail to the inside and just leave it there because it can help stuff the lemon a little bit. So now I'm going to take the ball that I've already made that's only got one layer of knitting on it and I'm going to insert it into my tube. And now we're going to do the other end of the lemon in very much the same manner. We're going to take that tail, cinch it shut. I'm going to thread that into my yarn needle, tie a knot to secure the cinched end. And now I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to bring the needle down just a little bit so that it's about a half an inch away from the center of that cinched section. And then I'm going to work my running stitch again, continuing in the row that my knee, that my yarn just came out of, going over one stitch under the next, over one stitch under the next, all the way around until I get back to where I started. All right, so I'm just going to tug on that, make sure it's well cinched to create the little knob on the end of the lemon and now I'm going to hold on to it real tight make my knot and I'm going to bury the tail by just inserting my needle into the center and coming out somewhere on the outside and then I can just cut the extra yarn. 
So from a simple little knitted ball made on the Addy Pro, you now have a cute little knitted lemon. Now if your yarn scraps that you stuff your ball with are really dark or show through too much, then you can always put two layers of knitting around the ball before you cover it in this last tube and that will take care of that problem for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you make this project, let me know how it turns out for you in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe, making sure you click the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.